In this week's screencast, we'll be talking about iterators. I'll quickly touch on what an iterable is, just so that people are clear on what's going on. These two are often confused. This talk aims to clarify the difference and shows you a bit of the nuances that iterators have when you're dealing with them in the wild. So let's quickly start off and declare a few things that are iterables. So for example, a list is iterable. So a list that consists of a few numbers is an iterable, meaning that you can iterate over it, right? So this is a list of numbers, very, very simple. We're next, we're gonna have a list of letters, which is a dictionary, which is also iterable. So you'll notice that we're going to go, we're gonna go A, one, B, B2, and C, three. And when you iterate over each, over one of each of these, you'll see that they'll produce a different output. So for example, for X in letters, print X, and for Y in numbers, print Y. So you see when I run this, you'll get a list of each of those. So you'll see that the numbers are listed in order. The dictionary is pretty special because it's put into memory. And if you want them in particular order, they'll, so they'll come out in a, in a mixed order. So you can't guarantee, but it will be consistent. So for example, the first time I printed it, it came out A, C, B. And if it came out that way the first time, it'll always come out that way. If you change it or reload your Python, restart your computer, there are many factors that vary into this. The order will change. So people use an order dict, which is another talk to maintain consistency within a dict, but that's beyond the scope of this talk. I just want to be clear that that's why that's happening. But you'll see that we can iterate over each of these without much issue. Now, with the uh, iterables, you can run this as many times as you want. So you could run that over and over again, no issue now. Iterables are slightly different, and what the, that difference is that in order to get an item from an iterable, it, you have to call next on it. So for example, for loops, when you create them like this, are inherently aware of the fact that it's calling next when the item that it's passed is an iterable. So for example, let's rewrite this example real fast. Let's get rid of this dictionary here. That was just to illustrate that you can also iterate over that, that a dictionary is an iterable and then you can iterate over it. Um, we're gonna use the numbers example. So if we're gonna go, we're gonna go for x in for x in iter, and that's how you create an iterable. An iterable will accept anything that's an an iterator will accept anything that is an iterable, so a dict, whatever it may be, and it'll, it'll let you generate over it. But the way it generates the things, it keeps the internal position aware. So whenever you are given an iterable, it has a positional value of what, of where it is in the thing that it's iterating over. So in this case, it's iterate, iterating over numbers, and it'll create an iter iterator that we will then ask for each of the values from. And this will have an internal state as to which one it contains. So for example, we're going to print this and we're gonna print X. And then right after we're going to go and ask it to print again from the same one. So we're gonna, let's just quickly assign this to a variable just to illustrate the example. Or wait, let's first just run through and show you that this runs. Perfect, it iterates them over, prints them all out, fantastic. But the thing that's interesting here is if we were to do it again, so we're going to need to assign this, like I was saying a second ago. We're going to do this. Uh, foo is equal to that. We're going to go foo is equal over over that. And we're going to do it again. Now, and if this was simply, let's just quickly run the example where it is simply uh, a list. It'll print it twice, no problem at all. But if you make it an iterator, and you run it, you'll only get the output for the list once, which is which is extremely interesting. Now, the reason that happens is that it has a state, and it is a state aware. So it only will iterate over the thing once. And each time you assign it, you get a different iterator. So for example, if we were to go, goo is equal to iter numbers, that is two separate iterable iterators that you've created and those will individually be have their own positional values within numbers so it'll go okay i'm in position one now when i printed the first time now i'm in position two and it remembers that that state is internally kept it is aware and that can become very useful in, in 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 cases where you may need to do this 
Now, if I were to do this, you'll see that it prints out twice, no problem. You can do this outside of the for loop, so you can do it with something like this. You can go foo.next, foo.next, and then you can do that very simply. So we have uh, two, four, six, we have six of these. So control C. That is one, two, one, two, one, two. That's six, I believe. If we run through that, it's perfect. That's six. It runs through all of them. It prints them. Awesome. So it's going, give me your next value, print it. Give me your next value, print it. And it has a pointer internally that it keeps aware of. The list iterator does. Now, if I were to call print foo dot next again, I'd be interested to hear what people think. Now, and then at the end of that, I'm going to go print a line here just to show you that it's different. And then I'm going to go goo dot next. Now that'll show that the pointers between the two are different. So we should get um, one, three, four, five, seven, seven. Something's going to happen. We'll know, we don't know yet. I pause the video, maybe take a guess. Then we're going to get a print line and then we're going to get, we should get one because that, that iterator's pointer is pointing at the first object. Awesome. So our exception blocked us from getting down to the goo.next, but what happened is that you get a stop iteration um, exception. That means that we've reached the end, you have to stop iterating. So that all that's saying is, that's all that's telling the thing that's iterating over our, our iterator to stop. We're done, we have no more values to give, we've reached our end, I'm exhausted. And you can only do this once per iterator instantiation. So if you wanna iterate over it again, then you would have to instantiate a new one. Now, this is normally handled, but if you are writing code that needs to um, iterate over that, you should just break out gently after that, catch or look for the stop iterator, iteration exception and go from there. Now, if we run this again, you'll see, oh, we didn't print it, but print it, you'll see that the lists, each one of those are independent and different. And that is the main crux and difference between iterables and iterators. Hopefully those few examples cleared up the difference between iterables and iterators. And a few things you can take away that are, that are true is that all iterators are iterables, but all iterables aren't iterator, iterators. Now, if, if you guys didn't catch that, then that simply means that everything that is an iterator can be iterated over. So if you can use the 4x in blah, against it, that means it's an iterable. And if you can do it multiple times, that means it's only an iterable. So the state per instance is, is, not, is not kept. But if it is kept, that means it's an iterator. Also, by calling any, any iterable, or if anything that you can call iter on and pass it into iter and get an iterable out or an iterator out of it means that it is an iterable as well. So hopefully that cleared it out. If you didn't get what I was saying, probably watch the video again. And if you have any questions, please let me know. In a future talk, we'll be talking about generators, which are very cool in themselves. You can do some very cool things with them.